Hi everyone, I'm back and I'm excited. Okay, there we go. I'm adjusted. <laughs> I'm adjusted. I ate three meals. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> Can you tell? I've missed everybody. I am so looking forward to PLing again and we're not leaving again until um, we were going to go somewhere in September, but my husband is an enabler. And he can he convinced me to um, change those plans for different plans. So now we're going to go somewhere in October. So we will be gone in October and December, and it should be fun. So lots of fun things. He's all just keep working. <laughs> I'm like you go, dude. <laughs> I choose you. So okay, so we are going to use two collections. This one is Out and About by Pink Fresh, and then in my insert I used Bu, Bu, <laughs> um, Pink Fresh. Well, I have like the. <laughs> it seems like right now I have the maturity level of a you know ten year old little boy. So, <laughs> so just forgive me. I'm I'm getting I'm I'm happy to be back. I'm I love crafting. I love doing this stuff, and so it just makes me happy. And when I get happy I sometimes get a little weird <laughs> so you guys know that by now right so okay so I don't know how long this video is going to be but I'll just talk to you as if it's going to be all day <laughs> so this is the week we went to Boston and it, it was uh, we went just for a few days I think it was three days total and I will tell you I did not like Boston uh, Boston itself is pretty. It's clean. It's really nice. The people of Boston are not nice to us anyways. They may have been to other people, but for us they were not. They were very, very rude and yeah, just rude. And then uh, we only got, and honestly in the three days we were there, we had two people. <laughs> two people be nice to us. Everybody else was so rude. We went to a lobster place um, that Guy Fieri went to and um, he, it was lobster rolls because they're, they're famous for their lobster rolls in Boston, right? So we went to this famous place and you know, these, these lobster rolls are like $25 and it is literally, literally on a 99 cent bun from like the dollar store. 99 cent bun with about mm, maybe a quarter cup, that's being generous, of lobster and a handful of french fries. And <laughs> it was like, what was it, um, 54, 54, $56, something like that. Yeah, so it was, you know, it was a pretty penny for two lobster rolls. And, uh, cause Tim got one and I got one and well, the girl, I asked for some bottled water and well, they didn't give us our bottled water. So Tim went to go, you know, see where, you know, it, where he could get it from, you know? And the girl says, it's over there <laughs> to my husband. And Tim's like, okay. So yeah, so it was like that the whole entire time. Nobody was friendly except for two people, and that was it. And that was like the icing on the cake where I'm like, I don't ever want to come back here again. <laughs> so we we Seattle, Seattle has its moments. Um, it had its moments when we were there when we were younger. Um, <laughs> they hate Californians, and um, so you know. Seattle was like at that time was kind of like the worst one but this was back before you know Yelp and, and Uber and all that stuff um, so that was uh, so I don't know how it is now so I won't say that it's a rude state but at that time it was the rudest we've ever been in and uh, <laughs> people were really hateful there and uh, well so but Boston whew, yeah they they just hate you on site <laughs> They really do. So the one of the waitresses where we ate um, some burger and burgers and fries, um, she was the only one who was nice to us and smiled and was friendly. So she got a twenty dollar tip. 
<laughs> and uh, yeah, so <laughs> that's how that's how bad it was. So I don't ever want to go back there again. But you know, <laughs> it is what it is. But we went there because I wanted. Okay, so what ended up happening was Hugh Jackman announced his tour dates last year. He announced them last year. And I told Timothy, I was like, oh, man, I really want to go see him. I want to see him in concert. And so um, Timothy goes, well, and I told him, I said, well, we're going to be, when he's here in our local town, we will be coming home from Florida. So that won't work out because, you know, we're going to be back and be exhausted. And I don't want to, I don't want to rush to the arena or anything else so he says you know what he says we have enough oh he says we have enough time pick somewhere we haven't been before and um let's go to that state so i was like okay so i found one there was two states only only two states that we hadn't been in that he was touring at the time we could go and he um he um he ended up uh, the other state was uh, too close to, no, was at the same time we were gone. <laughs> so our local state, he was going to be playing the same day we were coming home. The other state, uh, we were still going to be gone. So the other state we have never been to. So then I said, okay, well, we've never been to Boston. Let's do that one. So um, we said, okay, let's do that one. So then we planned it last year to go this year. And it was uh, fun. <laughs> that his concert was so fun. I recommend it. It, it. Even Tim, who who was like, wait, Hugh Jackman sings, and I'm like, yeah, he sings. He sings awesome. And uh, he was like, I like that concert. He goes, it was. He was entertaining, and and it was it was good. And I said, right. And he, so he was glad. He goes, yeah. He says it was worth going. So I thought that was cool, you know, because he, you know, he's only there for me. And, um, so that worked out. Um, but he, yeah, he had a great concert and we had really good seats. Um, I have found, <laughs> I've always been scared of heights, but I have gotten even more like, because I suffer from vertigo and, um, salt triggers it the most. And, you know, I gotta have my fries. So, well, um, <laughs> So I take a lot of um, medication for that when we're out and about, if we're doing those things. Well, Baltimore, when we went uh, last year, did we go to Baltimore last year or two years ago? I can't remember. But um, when we went to Baltimore, I think, yeah, that was last year. Baltimore was last year. And we had not nosebleed seats, but a good, a good section of being way up on top. And I was not a happy camper i was literally like white knuckling tim's back when we were sitting down because it was such a steep incline that i just felt so nervous and it was just it was scary so tim says okay he says enough is enough don't um he says don't get us tickets for anything any anything that has an arena that we have to sit up high he says since we plan usually a year uh, in advance or months in advance to go to events he says spend put it into your spending um uh, what is it called um put it into your oh well, gosh that word is eluding me right now um you know where you save up money and oh my god i can't remember okay anyways um then plan for um sitting down lower he goes, I don't want you having this feeling anymore. He says, it's, it, you know, it's too much for you. And I was like, right? I was like, this is so weird. And so we decided from there that it wasn't going to happen anymore because I am just freaking out now, you guys. I just feel so like, oh, I'm going to pass out because it's just so high. And, uh, you know, getting older is fun, right? <laughs> so, um so these Hugh Jackman concert tickets, I was like, okay, so I need to, you know, keep in mind, I got to spend a little bit more to, uh, to make sure that I don't have nosebleed section, um, seats. So 
there you go and uh and so we were almost we were really close we were five rows up from the bottom not from the you know like oh gosh i want to say mosh pit but that's not the kind of concert that was um from the floor it was so they had the floor tickets which were like a thousand dollars and up um and then they had um, the seating, the sit down tickets. And that's where uh, we sat. So we were five rows up from that. And yeah, I paid a pretty penny for them, but it was worth it because it, seriously, I had a good time. I wasn't stressing about, you know, falling or anything like that. And for peace of mind, you guys, it's worth it to pay that price as long as you uh, budget. There we go. Put it in the budget. There we go. Ah, I found it. <laughs> Put it in the budget to make sure that, you know, you have enough money to spend a little extra on tickets. And that makes the most sense, right? And so I was like, okay, so from now on, when um, when we do things, that's what, um, that's what I put into the budget. I have put in the budget for many years. Um, parking at the airport or not off-site of the airport and that has been phenomenal <laughs> that has been like the best thing we ever did because i hate i hate asking people for rides to the airport we did it when we were young for like two years and then something happened and it was never again we'll just put that into the budget and we did and we've never gone back because I don't want rides to the airport. I don't want anyone picking us up, dropping us off. But we're like that when it comes to um, visiting uh, visiting places or going places. We don't stay with family or any of that kind of stuff. We don't, uh, we'll stay at a hotel. We're, we'll put that in the budget. So all these things, we just, we, we have a problem with ourselves. And um, it's just, yeah, I hate inconveniencing people. It's just the... Ugh. and Plus, I also hate relying on people because not everybody is reliable. I mean, nobody is like... It's even going more downhill now, you know, in this day and age where people just are so flaky. They're so flaky and you're like, oh my God, why are you... <laughs> you're telling me that you're, um, that you're going to be here and everybody knows that you're a flake so they don't count you in and it's true. And it, what happens, they end up canceling. But you're like, eh, I never counted you anyways. So, yeah. And so I would never want to rely, I rely on Tim. Tim. Tim relies on me. We have each other. And that's who we count on. We count on each other because we can. But, you know, my uh, BFF, uh, she is also uh, that same mentality. <laughs> that's how come we've been walking for eight years, five days a week. <laughs> because we both, you know, we made a commitment. And... <laughs> So when we make commitments, we stick with it apparently for very many years. And so it was funny because I thought about that the like last year and I told her, I go, if at any time you want to get out of this, you can. <laughs> She's on, no, it's free therapy. I'm like, right? So, <laughs> so yeah, so <laughs> we do, we, we have similar feelings of commitment <laughs> and uh, so it's great. So I can count on her too. So, um, my parents, I can count on, but, you know, not really because, you know, stuff happens and, you know, they live so far away. So, yeah. But, anyways, um, what was I, why did I go on that little veer? I veered off. Why did I veer off? For what? Parking? Budget? Tickets? Right? Okay. So anyways, so Tim asked for two things when we went to Boston because he was excited when I said, okay, Boston, he goes, yeah, he's all, Cheers is there because he's been really into Cheers again because it's on Prime. I think it's on Prime is where he watches it at. And uh, he's like, oh my gosh. He's like, yeah, let's go there. And then he goes, Samuel Adams, Samuel Adams there because he's a, a dark beer drinker. And uh, he's like, I really want to go to Sam Adams. He's all, and I said, yeah, no problem. I want the Hugh Jackman concert. You got these two things you want to do. No problem. So he's like, okay. <laughs> so I said, okay. He goes, I would like to do the tour. And I was like, yeah, no problem. It was like $10. And so I signed us up for the tour. And he was so jazzed because I, I don't drink, right? And so he ended up having um, my drink and his drink. We got a little souvenir, little, you know, a little bigger than shot glasses. And, uh. He was so happy, but he was drinking mine, and 
his own. He's like, I'm going to take you beer tasting with me more often. He's never been beer tasting. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, let's go. Cause you know, that's his enjoyment. So why wouldn't I, you know, why wouldn't I, um, be supportive of his, his fun. And so I just sat there and, you know, it was just cute. And so it was fun. And yeah. And so we went to the Samuel Adams tour then we went to the Hugh Jackman concert. We went to the Cheers. Um, he was so my husband was so excited. He's I'm gonna do something I, I don't really like doing. He's I'll take a picture of me with Norm. <laughs> so that's my husband right there. Let me show you. Oh, and Liz Youngkin, happy birthday! This was his. Oh, this was before his birthday. So Disney World was his birthday. So, anyways, but happy birthday! <laughs> you share. You share the same birthday as my husband, which is so cool. So does Cassie. Cassie, the owner of Paper Issues, her son is actually um his birthday is the same day also so it's a special day you guys so awesome um so yeah <laughs> anyways let me start saying thank you because all i have is the title card. oh i gotta show you the insert don't let me forget the insert scream in your head loudly for me not to forget the insert because the insert was fun and i feel like i'm talking about a minute Whew, calm down <laughs> i had two cups of coffee and uh, tim went back to work today um he's been off for quite a bit for two weeks I think which is the longest he's been off in oh oh shoot in about a year and um he's all yeah and so he's dro I'm dropping him off at work this morning he's all I don't want to go to work <laughs> I'm like I'm sorry he's all I don't want to go to work <laughs> and uh he's all I have felt so relaxed in the last two weeks he's all it's been awesome he says but the he says I can feel and clenching my teeth again and um that department is being run down it's just the way they're running the department is so stupid so that's why he's even more anxious to get out and i don't blame him and i told him let's move we can move at any time i'm willing to i don't have any attachments to anything my kids are fine they'll be fine so um so yeah so anyways um what does it tell you so it's just about him and him going back to work. He just, you know, he doesn't want to. And I felt so bad for him. And um, he said, I got a taste of what it's like having your life. He goes, I like it. <laughs> I was all right. I was, <laughs> I was like, I have a great life. Thank you. And go to work. <laughs> but anyways, he starts his tour today. And then he already got overtime for tomorrow. So he won't be home till Thursday. And that's maybe. <laughs> so he may not be home till Saturday. And... Uh, <laughs> So, yep, yeah, it started back up again, but, uh, he, uh, <laughs> he's, he's there. And so that means I'll be able to, um, I'm going to be done with this, print out pictures. It's supposed to be really, we're supposed to have like a heat wave this week in California. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so as long as we can hang, hang in here, the puppies and not myself, then, um, I will print out pictures and start working on my PL for week 27 and 28. Now that we're on, this is week 29, I believe. I believe, don't quote me on it, because, you know, all that goes. Um, so, wow, I am really like talking to my mom, and I feel it, and I'm sorry, but I'm excited, because I'm like, I'm doing what I love, and <laughs> I'm doing what I love. How can you not, you know? Oh, yes, anyways, calm down. <laughs> Cheryl Nevins, um, Carol Hodson from the UK. Hi, thank you for leaving me comments everywhere. I appreciate it. I love reading your guys' comments. They're just so fun, even if it's just a hi, because you know it just makes my day. It makes my day bright. I don't know. I just appreciate it, so I can't thank you enough. <laughs> and uh, let's see, Lori Annie six seventy. Hello, and we have Karen Haynes. Liz Youngkin, like I said, happy birthday. I hope you had a good day. So, yeah, I hope you had a really good day. Timothy had a good day, too. So, is this how I wanted this? Let me double check. Hold on. Yeah, wait, no. This isn't how I wanted this. Okay. I gotta, well, luckily I put it with this removable, removable one for right now. Um, let me see. And then... Um, Judy Johnson. <laughs> so, thank you. You guys are the best. You guys really are. I gotta sneeze. Oh, 
goodness gracious, it's getting warm in my office. I'm going to have to turn up the um, fan. Turn the fan on. There we go. Not turn up the fan. Turn on the fan. So, <laughs> anyways, I've missed you. I have seriously missed you. I miss doing this. I just, yeah. It makes me know that I'm, I'm still having fun. It makes me know that I still want to keep doing this. So, yeah. Thank you so much for being here with me and sticking with me because this is fun. This is so fun. I cannot wait. So I know that week, I was looking at the pictures on my phone, and I know that week 27 is, we were in between um, vacations. <laughs> so that one should go a little bit faster too. So, but that one you'll be able to see the puppies. Oh, which reminds me, let me show you the insert. <laughs> I don't want to forget the insert. Okay, look at this title card. I had fun making this one. Isn't that fun? Look at that. I was actually like, slap, slap, slap. <laughs> so, I love this layout. The colors are amazing. Because Pink Fresh, I am really digging Pink Fresh. I want to own everything of theirs because I use it all. So, let me show you the insert. The inserts, because I cannot not have my babies, right? <laughs> so, this is also the week... That Tim did my nook. If you watch the video of my um, tan nook, this is him building it, and then this is it done. If you didn't see on Inst if you didn't see it on Instagram, till Tim built all my all my uh, shelving. Yeah, and then what I like about the inserts, and I told you guys before, is the fact that look at them. Is um, the, I like the random, I like putting down random stuff because it doesn't, I don't know, I just, I like it. Um, yeah, so it doesn't really go with this theme, but I don't care. I had fun. <laughs> so that's kitty cat, blessers, Dory. And then at this moment, it's just right. She's so cute. Live life fully, kitty. Look at this, and he's so cute with his little snarl. Oh, he's so cute. And then this is him. I'm flexible for being a big guy. Staycation. <laughs> I loved using that. Staycation. Oh, and there's kitty cat. And her doing raspberries. <laughs> so, you matter to me. Yeah. Okay, so what do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you like it? I missed you so much. Love you guys. Big hugs, big loves. Ah. Oh. Cannot wait to get started on week 27. I will see you all hopefully soon. Yeah, by for sure by the end of the week because I got nothing going on and I'm going to have fun. All right, guys. Take care. Bye.